Including your mouth. I can't. 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 I can't
it seems like it's hitting harder when it's someone that you um, admire. Men over here. Um, it's really sad because, like I said, he lost his life and his daughter lost his life. I really feel bad for his wife. She's lost her husband and her firstborn child all in one day. So I, it's, I'm definitely in prayer for her. It's, it's shocking to me. I know, you know, when it came out, I had to hurry up and post and blog about it. And I think as the day progresses, it'll settle down on me even more. But you know, right now it's just like I'm busy. I'm in the, the moment of trying to see what's going on, like what's next, like what's going on with it. But I, I, the loss of any life is sad, but his especially because I feel like it was so much more he wanted to do, so much more he felt like he needed to do, and he just got a new baby last year, and he was looking forward to seeing her grow up. You never expect something like that to happen. Like when you're just looking at the picture of their family with him and his daughters and his wife was with her belly when she was pregnant with their last baby, you're thinking like it's the perfect picture, you know? And now for that family right there, that picture has to change. It's still gonna be a picture, yeah. but it's just not gonna be the same picture. I was talking to a friend of mine um, earlier today, and she was saying that the two of them, Kobe Bryant and his wife, were together since like forever and a day. Yeah. Since she was like in their teens, yeah. they've known each other for that long and have been um, inseparable that long. Yeah. Um, so that's Jesus. That's the love of her life. You yeah. Know what I mean, right. yeah. What, didn't they go through that like legal thing with, with the cheating accusations, or was that the same woman? Or? That's the same I, woman. Yeah. 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 So she's still, still in the Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah. She did. Are you a sports guy? Yes, I am. But I was not really a Kobe fan or LeBron, but I appreciated him. Um, it's just really random. I, I I still can't believe it until like I see it on the news because I it just happened. So I still. I'm still like, okay, I'm numb right now, but I think when I see it on the news, it kind of hit a hit. Yeah. We were just talking about this in um, the writers' meeting um, that we had earlier today. I had made mention that you have to do what you want to do today and not always think that you can put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we started this writers' meeting a couple months back. And even in the first round of meetings that we did, it was like, people always, we have these ideas, we wake up, we want to do something, and it's just like, hmm, should I do it? Should I not do it? Do I have the confidence to go ahead and, oh, I'll, I'll put it on the dark burner, or I'll do it a little later, or whatever the case may be. And it's like, you can never guarantee that you will be here later to put anything on the back burner. So with, and this is me talking to myself and talking to you guys, and this is just how I, I look at things sometimes. Um, with regard to things that you genuinely want to do in life, you just have to do it when you can, if you can, because you'll, the, the, the life is not guaranteed. Here today, go tomorrow. <coughs> um, and I always try to tell myself never to say goodbye to someone. I always mm -hmm. try to say see you later right. or something like that because it could literally be bye. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Death is not, it's not an easy, easy topic at all. And it just is so random. And like, what? Cold, 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 like, what? It's like, whoa. Yeah, when you think about helicopters, I've, yeah. I've never been, has anybody ever been in a helicopter? I'm scared of planes nope. in general. Nope. I've, I've never been in a helicopter. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've never been in a helicopter. Yeah, I've, 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 I've never, never been, been either. Um, but it's like, again, you don't want to live in fear either. Right. Like, I know some people that have never been on, like, a cruise, and, like, because they hear all, like, these things about cruises and stuff like that. But it's like, I don't know. I'm not going to say like a cruise is completely safe, but I think about how big and massive a cruise ship is mm -hmm. and what it would take for like everybody to perish on a cruise ship. And I'm like, eh, you don't really hear about too many things that can't be resolved or going on a cruise ship. A plane, forget about it. You know, <laughs> if a plane happens, you know, hopefully the pilot is has that much of experience to get y'all home safe mm -hmm. because we hear about plane crashes a yeah. lot. We yeah. hear about planes having to, to land early because they couldn't make their destination because yeah. of X, Y, Z. So it's like, things happen. I don't, I don't know, it's, I don't know. I've never heard know. of a helicopter crash though. That, that's a first for me. Good. Yeah, like I didn't that's remember. That's a first man. for me. I've never heard of a helicopter crash. I'm I've seen it, it wasn't movie. any that, you know, <laughs> well, not that it wasn't any that happened, I just yeah, never heard of it. This is like the first mainstream helicopter crash. Just, right. Yeah, out of all the people, like a group of um, celebrities got killed. They were on a plane. <coughs> on a plane. That was a Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, yeah. Big Bopper. That was okay. Like, like the fifties. These were like a little plane. Okay. Right, a jet. Yeah, yeah, you keep hearing about jets, but you mm -hmm. never hear about. Yeah, helicopter. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, yeah helicopter. One of them little planes. Okay. I mean, jets. <laughs> right. It was a jet. Oh. 
Did I say it wrong? No, I said it wrong. <laughs> I said helicopter, and I meant no jet. All right. For Aaliyah. But all my prayers and condolences go out to the family. I yeah. mean, that's the mom and the siblings yeah, yeah, yeah. of the of the daughter of the, their sister, their father. Like I, yeah. I couldn't even mm. couldn't even try to uh, life, but yeah. That's, couldn't even try to fathom that. That's crazy. Um, to segue to another topic, kind of difficult to do that, right. and, and no disrespect. Uh, but to segue to a different topic, um, a fall from grace um, was a movie that just came out uh, by twice. Everybody laughs. All the memes. So many. All the memes. <laughs> um, a Fox Bridge just came out. Did anybody who watched it? All I'll the way through. It. Oh, shit. I'm right through. Listen, like, man, I watched it, but I don't remember watching it. Okay. I watched it from the beginning to you. Okay. I watched it with Ryan. Okay. Everybody knows who Tyler Perry is. Um, and a little backstory, because I, I, I was kind of getting a little backlash on my Instagram about it. But Tyler Perry is inspirational. He is. Uh, and a historic figure, period. Um, an icon living, all of that great stuff. Man was living in his car, homeless for three months before he even was able to do his play. And even during his plays, he, people was helping him out. And he was, he's was he been struggling. He's had to struggle. And now he doesn't have to struggle anymore. He has created history as the first uh, black man to own over 300 acres, up to 300 acres of land. Over. The over yeah. 300 acres of land I'm dedicated to a uh, film right. studio. Um, so he's he's that guy. Yeah. Right. No doubt about it. He is that guy. Um, and but but everybody in once some way, shape, or form has had something to say about all of his productions. If it's not the story is the same, if it's not the acting is not the best, whatever it is, it's always something being said about all of his productions. I was just speaking to my friend again earlier today, and there is not one project of his that I can say is like my all-time favorite. Um, like I don't have any of his works in my top list, top ten list of faves. Okay. I don't know if anybody here does. I do. Uh, you do? Okay. Of Tyler Perry. Of Tyler Perry. Of movies, period. Like that he has, that he has done. Yes, top yeah. ten movies. <laughs> I, I they can't. They won't follow top my top 10. ten, but I do have some I like. Like I love the family that prays. That's the one. Okay. The family that prays That's was really one. good. I, I, okay. I, 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 I don't want to talk to Raji. Yeah, I actually no, like, no, 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 Taraji no, no, was not in there. Taraji was acrimony. Right, she was acrimony. She was always the same. Always the same routine. The woman was not leaving when she was a bitch. A woman in distress. Well, before 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 we get into that, oh, so I just want to. I'll disclaimer. I, I, I love Tyler Perry. I think he has moved mountains and he's continuing to do that. But that does not mean that I have to overlook everything that he does and say that everything that he does is spot on and picture perfect and right. amazing. Okay? I'm, I'm not a stan like that. I think stans can't like Sierra stand over here. He will never be able to critique her because he just overlooks everything that she does. There's nothing to overlook and she's she, Sierra. She is a great spoken word artist. <laughs> But I'm saying like I, I, I demand he embodies everything that I want to do and just because of that I mean I anyways <laughs> What did y'all think about a fall from grace? I didn't think Ooh, Ooh, damn. Damn. Very much the only reason that I got I was stayed up because I was trying to find some, the errors. It was so many errors the guy that was eating in the background, of, you know, the guy, right, it was like that. The wig switch, I didn't see that until I took Instagram. It was like a lot, and then the plot was just. But when you first saw it, you didn't see all those errors. Right? I was ready because it's Tyler Perry, so I know it's going to be errors. So I went into it like, okay, oh. I'm trying to go here with a, play, a, a straight face, but it's Tyler Perry. And this is Netflix, so I'm like, okay. So I'm really gonna be like putting a magnifying glass on you. And it just, from the, a magnifying from the, from glass. From the jump, it was just like. Wow. Wow. So I had I had the adverse I had the adverse thought process going into it. I knew that I was gonna be over analyzing everything because that's just how I watch things in general. But in my mind, I was like, this is Netflix, so this shit about to be the bomb. That's what I was thinking. I was like, this is not about to be having have nots. 
This is not about to be um, any of the other stuff that he's been giving us in the last couple of years. This shit is about to be great, A. Hey? We made it to Netflix, let's go. <laughs> not that he needs Netflix whatsoever, but I'm like, if he's doing this, then he's one up in people. And then I had one of our actors um, by the name of Darius who came and was like, oh my God, I went to the screening of a fall from grace and it was amazing. And I stepped back, I was like, <laughs> it was amazing. He was like, yes, it was so good. And like the plot was just, oh my God, you're never gonna, you're never gonna guess it. You're never gonna guess it. So I'm like amped, ready to go. I'm like, oh shit, Barbara Grace coming on, oh. And the first scene, <laughs> literally, <laughs> the first scene. took me, it sucked me right out of it. And I was like, why? The first Whoa. We was rooting for you, we were all rooting for you. I was like, I was like, wait, I was sour <laughs> back. I was sour back. We were rooting for you. I don't know the man's name that that does that plays the boyfriend. But the not, husband. Not 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 no the, the cop. The husband. Oh, okay, the, the husband. husband. Okay. I don't I don't know his person. name. But brother, that one scene where you had to yell that whelp when the white lady uh, fell off the roof of the house, it that just took me completely out. He had one job. What do you? Uh, it it was it was overacting and it was so it, it far wasn't left. That great. It was it was so that fun. That scene wasn't that great, but... And so to come to that... It wasn't a bad movie. When it I was saw, not a bad movie. So the plot in itself wasn't bad, but it was a bad Had movie. Had somebody else produced the movie besides him, it would have came out better. The storyline wasn't bad. It's the fact that... Yeah, Tyler So do you, you love the movie? Okay. I didn't um, love the movie. I liked the movie. As a packaged movie given to you. I liked the movie. I think there were some things that, um, like the first scene, could have been a little bit better. It could have been a lot better. But um, as a whole, as a whole, it was a good movie as a whole. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't say it was like the best movie, but it was a good movie. Like I would, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit up here and be like, oh man, because. When it comes to certain movies, I, I, I will boast about it. Like, the uh, movie that I really, really, really love, love, love is um, The War Room um, by the Kendrick Brothers. When I seen that movie, I, I run and told that. Um, this movie is not a run, tell that movie. It's a, oh, okay, it's good. that was a good movie. Um, it was a good um, plot. It was a good story. Um, for me, I liked it. Now, when I watched the movie, I didn't see all the errors because I was sucked into the story. And then, on my timeline, all the memes <laughs> came flooding in about the Mike situation. See Mike? That is like a big no-no. Um, uh, the the wig switch in the same scene. How about the that was a uh, you know a big no-no. When I first saw the first meme I seen was, oh look at him in the background and he ain't eating or drinking nothing. He got a cup of nothing. <laughs> he sip, and he's sipping. And I <laughs> I thought it was funny, but I'm like it's the background. Ain't nobody should be paying attention to them like that. No. But when all the when the other two. Um, big mistakes that came out with the with the the mics and and, and the um, and <laughs> wait a minute now that is what I I, I I noticed when I watched the movie for without hearing or seeing any of the memes when I watched the movie the first thing I thought and I was cringing about was the the, the hair I, I'm wondering um, you know how you have such big you 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 made so Felicia much money. Rashad's. You made so Cicely much Tyson. money. And you, in Atlanta. you made so much money, oh, Tyson. Hair. Why aren't we getting putting a little bit more effort into those wigs? Like those wigs, why do they have to, why almost every Tyler Perry movie there's always a hot top fade for every man? I don't get it. Why we gotta have the big major hot top fades for these two men that was the, the two leads in the in the Oh no. Those were horrible. The now the other wigs, I didn't too much. I, I didn't. I, I wasn't thinking of it as as bad. I but the men wigs, I had a horrible time watching the men wigs. Crystal Fox in that shower scene. Oh when yes, yes, getting, yes. She was all like, Why we got a wig on? Why we got a wig on in the shower scene? That 
That was not that necessary. That was hilarious. That was not a necessary scene. That, that could have been cut. And she was she was feeling it, baby. <laughs> and she was jock. What is that? That, that, wig, that wig was not it. I oh, believe Tyler Perry to get That's a little so bit funny. better with the wig serious. situation. Ew. But that was the only thing. in when I watched it for the first time, I had an issue with that. Kind of got me out of the story a little bit. With some, you know, during during the playing of it was the wig situation. I was like, why he why he messed their heads up like that? But it matters though. Man. Did you love the movie? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, so, I, I, I didn't love it. I didn't like it. And I'm gonna be right I'm not critical of all the Tyler Perry's works because it's some stuff I actually watch. I'll be honest with y'all. I like soap operas. So I watch the haves and have nots. Okay. It's, it's very show. soap it's very soap opera episodic. You know what okay. I mean? So I, I love that. I'm I love the family that prays. I even like Dare of a Mad Black Woman. I like that. Yeah. However, so there are some other that. projects where I'm just like, hell no, won't know. We can't do this. I don't even know why this is on there. And with this, I feel like it missed the mark completely. But at the same time, he made a very good argument and I support him when he says this. I write for my audience. Mm -hmm. I write for my niche. His audience is strong, Adrian. black, Christian women. <laughs> They're a little bit older. I would say about I would say about their fifties and sixties. They got higher morals. They're not, they, they, and they're more traditional. You understand what I'm saying? So they get that. They relate to that. Somebody like us, millennials or whatnot, or people who engage, and uh, I would say smarter comedy or smarter writing, mm -hmm. that's not for us. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? We want a little bit more. We want to, we want to be able to relate to the characters. Mm -hmm. You can relate to none of those characters in there. And then I just wish. Some more research has been done about how court operates. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like when you rest for court, it's no way she can come up there and present another witness. <laughs> but yo, yo, you, you bring it up like you said in an appeal, but then the fact that she still got up there and got to present that, I was like, this is off. Yeah. Why do you just write that in as a surprise witness? You find some evidence at the because last minute. Because no one minute? else is writing with him. And, yeah. and, then, and then you're not going to sit up here and, and have somebody in handcuffs and leave them standing there to go to another uh, location. You just cannot do that. Now that was in, in, in terms of law enforcement. No. He left two people in handcuffs in the movie. Oh, well, yeah. especially the one that was leaning up against the car. He was leaning up against the car. He said, stay right there. And then he went to the car right and there. drove off. And drove off. So <laughs> why, he, why he's in well, handcuffs? He Come on. I think we got to stop <laughs> expecting him to write stuff. For, every for black all person. black people, mm -hmm. and I understand that he's writing something for a section of black people. It's just like when I write my stuff, I use certain catchwords or phrases and stuff to get certain people, because I know that's my audience, to tune in to that tagline. I can't write for the rest of y'all. That's not, y'all ain't with that. You can't possibly I can't write for everybody. everybody. But he's made money. That's his secret. He capitalized off of him. If you like chitlin circuit stuff, Tyler Perry is your man. And and and, 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 and you know that's what? I, I could I could respect that. <laughs> I could respect <laughs> that to a certain degree. And the reason why I say a certain degree, like I said before, irregardless, he ain't got he ain't giving a damn about what I say, what anybody say. He making his money and he's made his he money. Very rich. Very rich. Very rich. Um, but very rich. it's like it's like wow. Like and, 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 and it makes me it makes me feel some sort of way as a creator because it's like all I got to do is feed people shit and they'll eat it. Yeah. Right. And it's like, it's not, it's, it's not, it's but that's how, that's how I look at it. Because the reason why I say that is, that is the reason why I say that is, is because you, you it's, have it's the same story over and over and over. But, but that in itself is like, it, one, one thing that I don't like, I don't think so. there's two things that I don't like. There's two things that I don't like. Mm -hmm. One is, there's always the black man fucking over the black woman in every movie, exactly. just about. 95% of his movies is the black man fucking over the black woman. The black woman is a strain. She's horrified. She's going through all this shit. And, and she needs and all this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, again, like you said, he figured out his audience. That's his audience. The women that have are always dealing with shit with the men. Okay, let me keep feeding these these broads so they can keep buying <laughs> my shit. That is not true. Not true. Hold on, let me let me finish. That's so not true. Right. And then okay, my and then my second my second, second issue with it my second yeah. issue with it is from a quality stance. From a from I I I I I'm not mad at anybody making their coin, because there's a lot of individuals out there making their coin all giving out kibbles and bits to the to the world, to our people, and they're just they're literally just eating it up. I think it's very disrespectful. <laughs> I think it's very disrespectful 
from a creator standpoint and from a consumer standpoint to offer this to a service, a platform, Netflix, whatever, and then you have all of these mistakes in the film. And I think I'm really looking from it from a creator yeah, standpoint yeah. and not from a consumer standpoint. But those used. things are just like, it's like, I don't give a fuck about you because I didn't even take the time to sit down and watch my film or whoever he had to do the editor to sit down and watch to make sure that those two mics were in there to make days. sure that... What? Yeah, for the five days. Because we said, why he ain't take more time? Because he doesn't like to take time. He does not like to take time. That's how he feels, That's not an period. excuse. I'm sorry, that's not, not an days. excuse. Yeah, he only took five That's not an excuse at all. You that's have an immense amount, a mass amount of wealth and in resources. You're on 300 acres plus of land. There's no reason why that shit should have been in the movie. And that's where I'm really like taken out of out of all of it. Yeah. I mean, I can take that. Those mistakes are inexcusable, but for us to say that all his stories are the same, They're not, it's, that's, it's, that's irresponsible to say. But right. um, I can give you some examples of movies that he's done that I don't fall into that. Um, that, that is, I can give you, I can that give you three. Three family praise. Um, for color girls had multiple themes in there, but men weren't all of them was the distress. Oh, yeah. but, um, first of all, first of all, there's not a story. No, 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 no. The lady in red first, wasn't in distress. First of all, she was a bitch in there. First of all, she was about proxy. She wasn't in distress. Hold, hold on, on. four color girls is not the right. Talking. Hold on, you know, he, hold, he hold the phone, pause. <laughs> pause. Uh, the Four Color Girls is not his story. He did not write it. But he he produced adapted it. it. Yes, but that was a, a retelling of a story that already came out. It was a it was a, a play. A of it was a play that came out in the seventies, and all he did was uh, made it into a screenplay. Mm -hmm. So we cannot. It, it what does, what, no, that was a very good movie. No, anyway, was that was, that was it was a very good that movie, was, and, and it's because it was adapted from now. being a stage play. And that, and no, 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 I can't say her name because her name is very. Mm -hmm. Her name, the, the the writer, I can't say her name. It's it's. But can yeah. we all the fact that sometimes black men do fuck over black women? And they do, and, 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 and like, I can, can name we, you can three that, that he wrote that's, that, I mean, that's that had awesome. nothing to do with that storyline. Go ahead. Okay, can't remember the actual names of the. Of Try the, to describe it. Okay, it was the one with um Jussie Smollett's uh, sister. Oh, oh, temptation. Oh, temptation. temptation. That she was the she was the, she the problem in she, she was, was the problem in that. Okay, okay. let's go no. into uh, uh, like, the one with Taraji P. Henson. Acrimony. Shame, that's shame, shame the going that, on there. It, 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 Nobody messed over her. But we can only count these on one hand. It's it like don't matter. I said three. Of, you got a plethora of. I said three, and then the third one, and the third one is good deeds, and the third one is good deeds. Correct. Okay, so I can name three. You know that he's done that. It did not what about, have the, that what about how to, why, why did I get married? His wife and both of them was the person that was fucking up. And he exactly. looked awkward she to was, her. She was fucking up to both of them. He looked awkward as her love interest. It don't matter about that. We talking about the plot. Not the plot. Like, like, okay. And then you got one. Then you got one when, he, when, when the guy oh, was cheating. And then you come to find out that the, 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 the wife was cheating too. On, on why did I get married? Oh, why did I get married? So he so had different. He had different storylines for why did I get married. And those movies that we mentioned, like I mentioned, you mentioned, were more successful than the other ones. Come on with it. They were. I agree that he put a lot of black actors on. So they were. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Next, one <laughs> yeah, thing yeah, at a time. Go ahead, we're gonna go down the line. Oh, I'm just saying, no, the themes don't you. change. You know what I'm saying? If I'm saying that his movies are all the same, it's because the themes don't change. That's what I'm saying. The themes don't change struggle, sadness, <laughs> infidelity, somebody oh, oh, with me, and Jesus. <laughs> that is a Tyler Perry movie. Hold on, dramas. You just described almost every drama, yes, except right. for the Christian part. That's almost every drama right. that there is out there. Right. 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 They got several, right. that's what drama is. That that's is. what it, that's that what he was in that drama. And, 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 so, and, and furthermore, that's when it comes to his, when it comes to his comedy, his comedy is totally different too. I mean, he yeah, has a slapstick comedy, but ain't nothing wrong with it. I like a, a Medea. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, the same junk I, at every and it don't matter. I like me some Madea. You know. So, that's, so what's your final take on it? Oh, and which? which <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to a close of Tyler Perry and the Fox. I love. I I love Tyler Perry. I am a big fan of Tyler Perry. I uh, was introduced him to him uh, when um, A Diary of, of a Mad Black Woman was on a stage play, when it was a stage play and it toured and came into my hometown. I have been a fan of his ever since then. Um, there are some things that, some movies or some productions that he comes out with that I'll be like, eh. And then there are some that I'm like, yeah. So you don't always, you're not gonna always love everything that someone do, but 
he is doing very well. I like most of his work and I say keep pushing brother and keep rising to the top and I'm so proud of you. I raise you up. I ain't tearing you down like some Negro. I, well, I'm gonna, uh, tell you, I'm gonna tell you my truth because it ain't gonna be everybody's truth and I'm not gonna accept trash if you put it in my face. So at the end of the day, I will say that I can respect Tyler Perry for everything that he's done. I appreciate Tyler Perry from uh, for being a black man myself, trying to be a creator, but trying to be a creator and and being a creator, I feel let down in some of the projects that he's put forward because I feel like you have so many resources and so many things at your fingertips that anybody like myself would kill to have the opportunity to even do a fall from grace and give you something that you did decide that you decided to give us. Um, and so, with that being said, yeah, keep on pushing on, yeah, black love and all that shit, but stop feeding me trash. And and I, I will say. He ain't feeding it to me, he feeding it to you. Yeah, I dropped my car for Douglasville. I mean, Villarica. Come on, Villarica. That's why I'm just not getting my shit together. So we're not doing that shit. I mean, I just want to see it because I want to understand the memes and people start saying that. And, um, right. so, so again, I'm going to So, again, I all respect all that Tyler Perry has is the historic figure and all that great stuff. He does it right for me, and I, I've accepted that he's not gonna write anything for me, um, which is fine. But I still want to watch and enjoy, naturally enjoy, without having to be pulled out of something because we decided to just do something for five days and not give quality. I just don't, you know, I, I don't understand that. And good point, valid point. What you and Adrian said, yes, he's created and been a part of different movies that didn't all go along with the black man tearing down the black woman. I will agree. Come on in. It's fine. Um, I agree to that. But, but again, it's like I'm not, I'm not a stand to where I can't say, hey now, yeah, calm down and let's let's you can be critical. let's yeah. do better than what that is. Does that and that's all that I'm saying. I can agree. That's all that I'm saying. Yeah, I support him. I just didn't like this particular project. That's what I say. Okay. Yeah. No hateration. I don't appreciate. Don't come to me because I'm gonna read. Don't come to me. <laughs> so you just uh, you just not gonna watch anymore. Yeah. No. Like I'm. I'm no. He just said no. All oh, right. Okay. I'm just that black person that's just not black. I guess. Yeah, oh. yeah, I mean, I supported his plays when they had the mics up. I love, Medea. I like love all the comedy. Yeah, when they had the mics up here, I loved it. <laughs> but then when they went to these <laughs> movies and Medea was in everything, it's like, Charlie, you don't have to be in all your movies. Then he it's, he branched out. He did. What's that movie when he was Alice like, Cross? Alice Cross. Ooh, I love it. He did. Uh, he was was a, he was a no, too. he has done all sorts of no. He, he, went, he, he was in like, Star Trek, too. Yeah. They didn't give him a light song. He was in Ninja Turtles as well. Oh, oh. did he have? Did he act like Tyler Perry? Cause give me Brian. In no, he was Baxter Stock. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's Brian in every movie. Like you yeah. know Brian. I do know. Yeah, the lawyer. He's yeah. Brian. Yeah. He could act like that's Brian real good. It's, right. It's, it's so Deborah Dugan is uh, involved with well, suing the Grammys. Uh, there are a lot of underground <laughs> issues, cover-ups, and all of that like being sprinkled over the Grammys. And we've heard from various artists over the years that they don't support the Grammys, they don't really care about the Grammys, they're not going to the Grammys. The Grammys have had the same issues that the Academy has had um, with being whitewashed and not representing and showcasing um, blacks the way that we feel that they should be represented and showcased. And so now Deborah Dugan has filed a lawsuit against them, claiming a lot of crazy not crazy, but just a lot of wow. serious, yeah, serious yeah, topics. Not crazy, serious topics and accusations. So how do we feel about this? Uh, are you're in the industry. How do I feel you about You write about the industry. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised that some of her accusations or whatnot. I mean, I honestly could see if some of this was going on. That is people who puppet string everything and they put a face for it like it's a voting system it's kind of like the electoral college in the united states it's not, not that much different you know we all go out and vote but then if your electoral college representative decided just because you voted for hillary don't mean i'm gonna vote for hillary i'm gonna vote for trump all your states votes go towards trump it's not fair it's just the way they have stuff set up um i think in the age of me too and them trying to diversify more and more stuff has been exposed to light i like to see a little more information into the investigation to see what's found out. I think an investigation does need to be done, and if some spots show up, they need to be corrected. Um, I don't think that should take away from people who already won Grammys 
per se, because there are a lot of talented people. For you to even just get to the point where they nominate you is a feat in itself. You know what sure. I mean? So that's a question that I do want to ask. Because Neo said that. Neo said that he feels like people are trying to say um, that the Grammys play favorites and this and that. It takes away from um, the Grammys and what he's won. He said it's not fair to him because he's worked very hard. He can't speak for anybody else, but he feels like he earned those Grammys. And by Caller and Valor, he might have. But, but still, at the end of the day, you know, it's... So would that take away... You can't with, invalidate what somebody's already accomplished. So for the people that are... Because the Grammys, today is the 26th of February, so the 26th of June. Today is the day that the Grammys are coming on. Correct. Um, not tonight. I didn't know either. Yeah, I didn't know either, but I just found that out. Seven. Um, there, there's a lot of performers that I don't really care for. Uh, but it's coming on tonight. Um... Would you? How would you feel if you felt like if you all of these allegations, accusations that uh, uh, Dugan is putting out there? One of which is that the um, the nominations aren't done by the over twelve thousand. Oh, yeah, the yeah. that is the MTV. I, I would like the Emmys. The Emmys be on point. Who? Emmys. TV. I want y'all to know that TV is naturally avoiding all this backlash. Let TV, TV pass is a great for diversification. Well, so um, how would you feel if the accusations were that the the way that the nominations are are done are through a small knit group of white men versus the twelve thousand registered voters? Would you feel validated in your Grammy win? Uh, mm. damn, that was a good one. I got dark. <laughs> I mean, shit. Uh, I would feel terrible because. You have this one idea of how everybody is coming together and it whittles down to you as the person that everybody selected. But if it's just like a room full of people and they just choose who they want, that has to do something to um, the, your, your like mentality of like the hard work that you put out there. Is it because I'm the marketable package or is it because I'm actually talented? So you start thinking about those things. So it would fuck me up. It would fuck me up. How would you feel, Adrian? If I actually won, I'd be like, I deserve this. Hello. <laughs> I would be like, I, I work hard. Because I know as a, um, it just what I do right now as an artist, um, um, an actor, I put my 110% in everything that I do. So if I won, I'd be like, I won and I want to, <laughs> you know, I would come up with my speech and cry and boo tears. Yes, it would be, you know, a taking back a little bit like, hmm. But at the same time, if you won, you don't feel like that you um, won uh, fair and square. When you don't win is when you feel real, real salty. You feel jaded. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, real jaded. Like, um, jaded. yes, uh, most definitely. And and I'm going to I'm going to bring something up from way back when. This is when I stopped watching the Grammys. Sierra, I got you. Nope. Uh, Further, <laughs> furthermore, when India Ari did not oh, get the a new got, artist yeah. award and Alicia Keys oh, yeah, did, yeah, 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 and I yeah. felt that, that was a lot of thing India Ari, like that that, yeah, 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 I felt like India Ari deserved the new artist award and Alicia Keys did not. That's when um, Grammys went off for me. Do I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I think for me it became a little questionable. <laughs> 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 Beyonce didn't win album of the year for Lemonade, and Adele did, and Adele even said she felt like Beyonce should have, but she was like, yeah, I don't know what it's going to take for her to win album of, the, like, album of the year, like, she should have won that, like, I just wanted to let y'all know I'm a Beyonce fan, I don't agree with this decision, I was just like, wow. And Adele is a wonderful, um, a wonderful artist. Sorry. I love no, Adele. Honestly, Adele can sing, sing. She can. Yeah, she can. I, I would say nice. that I would feel some sort of way, because <laughs> even when we were just nominated for, um, uh, the nominations that we got and won. And won. Um, yes, we're an award winning I felt like, network. I felt like it would have been a little bit different for me if I knew it was just one guy responsible for me receiving right. the award. But to find out that it was, a, it was over 100 in uh, focal Africa. groups um, internationally and domestic, <laughs> it, it just made me feel a little bit more appreciative of yeah. the overall uh, win because people that we don't know uh, went to the site and said, "Hey, I like this show. I want this show to be a part of it, or this this should be considered." Um, so it, it's that that concept is really really dope, really really dope.
Um, did anybody see Bad Boys 4? Not three. Three. Four. three. 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 I was like, oh, okay. That was great. They greenlit <laughs> green green four, so they greenlit green four, so they oh, won four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? I feel, I feel a little, I feel a little like, I feel a little bad though, like uh, because I feel like we should be like in the three hundred million mark, not the one hundred and fifty three million mark worldwide. So that twenty so, gap, they did good to get that. But yeah. but that's what I'm saying. But and I no, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not successful. It's a win. It's yeah. definitely a win. I thought it was a because they they right? made they made over budget. But I'm like, and I'm thinking that it's because it's not worldwide released. I, I think they picked their their overseas countries where they opened up, and that's fine. And I get all of that. But it's just like, I want that for them. I want that for Martin Lawrence, and I want that for Will Smith. Will Smith, he's no stranger to box office. He he's came off of Aladdin, getting over a billion. Yes, but but Aladdin. still, but like Aladdin. like Aladdin. Martin Lawrence and them coming back after 25 years, the first one, and then it's just like we love you and we respect you, and they gave us. Quality! See, oh my god, it was a great film. Together, that was good. And then do a review on it. Did you see it? No. I it was it's I really, yeah, really, it's it. really, really good. It's it to have like all the cameos that Michael Bay was on it. I don't know if anybody noticed That's Michael the, uh, Bay was on it. Uh, the police guy? Huh? Never mind. Who is Michael Bay? Michael Bay is. Never Michael Bay is. I don't know what he looks like. But he's the producer of the first two Bad Boys. He was actually in Bad Boys Three as a cameo. As soon as he was the guy that was in the wedding, uh, Martin Lawrence's daughter's was wedding, and he grabbed the mic and was like, "Hey, I want to give a toast to da da da." That white guy with the shrink of hair was Michael Bay. When I saw that, I was oh. like, "That's some dope ass shit." Because it's like you think about it, Michael Bay is huge, huge producer, huge, huge. Yeah, he didn't have to do movie. something like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I don't know how it worked out to where the two d new directors got to do the job and Michael Bay just didn't do it. I don't know how that worked, but the fact that he was even a part of that, like all the cameos being a part of that, like that's the kind of black power that I love to see. I love to like, res I respect that. Quality, was no bike showing up. There was no bad wigs. <laughs> there was no, no scripts being was, ran in the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been bad. I just <laughs> but it was bad. on. Hold on. Um, filmed on Tyler Perry's studio. It so was. Let's give him all. So, so, this so, so we know that the quality came out of the Tyler Perry studios. We know that. He, he does know how to buy a man real good. And he knows. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no shade. But no shade. But I just want everybody to understand, like, because people, people think that I, 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 Wesley, Wesley, Wesley. I love a lot of things black, but I love quality black. 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 Quality um, did anybody see uh, Just Mercy? Yes, I, I did. did. I loved it. I My did. favorite I just seen it this week. Yeah, we gotta go to the show. Michael B. Jordan. Another quality film. That's what I'm talking about. That was great. It was a good movie. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Yeah. He did that. Um, and then you actually get to see, in my opinion, you actually get to see Brie Larson. Well, she's done a couple things that she actually won an award for, yeah. kind of Academy Award for one of her projects. I didn't room. see that. Yeah, room. Um, so I'm curious. I want to see that, but like, only thing that I saw of Brie Larson was Captain Marvel, and I wasn't really impressed by the Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. I was more impressed by the Endgame Captain Marvel. Shout out to the Russo brothers. But Brie Larson in Just Mercy was a great actress. I was like, oh shit, she, okay, she can act. And then, of course, Michael B. Jordan did a great job. Oh, um, Just Mercy, y'all should see. He did see. a good job. He always does a good job at everything Y'all should does. see Just Mercy. But, but, but J uh, Jamie Foxx did a wonderful job. You didn't like uh, Michael B. Jordan? Michael B. Jordan, I thought he did better at Fruitville Station. Oh. Um, but he didn't <laughs> bring... He brought some emotion, but he he ain't bring it like he brought it on, that, on, that on, on Fruitville Station. Yeah, to strip down and do the, the that scene we yeah, had that to scene down, he he had the scene where the dude died and the way he walked out of that prison, he, he gave he, he gave he emotion, gave but, he but I gave. felt I felt because you ain't get none of that was, from uh, uh, a fall from grace. You ain't get no oh, kind of emotion. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to fall from grace no more. Michael B. Jordan, first of all, I admire you. I think you were a good actor. Is nothing. I'm not taking anything from you but I feel that I've seen him uh, I've seen some work and I feel it, it just makes me feel like he could have went there well, a little the bit director more didn't want him to go that far. but it looked because like he gotta, could go a little bit more and gotta, I really I really believe he was holding back but, a little but, bit but we know what he's oh, capable because of because I feel but think like of his character though think of his character, his character was a young young man yes. who's who doesn't so really know about the world outside of his college 
and he's learning in this new this new town that he's in. He's learning how That's segregated and crazy. And he did a good job. Is. I'm not, and and so I'm not taking like, it from him. I just feel like it was he was on that precipice of being like a Michael Jack. Uh, uh, I mean, not Michael Jack. Uh, Jamie Foxx. Cause Jamie Foxx went there back when, Jay, he he that, to, when he was on that. When he was on that. Yeah, he yeah he needed to. It was right. more of a reason for him to That's go. That's just through. my opinion. To him. He did a very good job. Michael B. Jordan, I just thought that if you press a little bit harder, <laughs> yes, you would have got That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you. Still love you. Shoot my shot. Yeah, y'all need to go. So we, we need a movie day. We um, should do that. <laughs> but like, cause that, that scene, that, that scene, I tell you that I was looking at, I, I overanalyzed. But that scene, Jamie Foxx, Got diverted. His his uh his lip the side of his face was twitching because he was about to cry. And I I was watching him. I was like, a brother, I see you. You about to go there. You about to go there. And he then went. when he went, he said, oh. And I was just like, oh, oh, oh. Can, I, can we talk a little bit about um uh Ice Cube's son? Ice Cube's son did a very good job too. Who yeah, was Ice, Ice Cube's son? That was the, the that was the light skinned dude that year. was locked up in the, in the death row. Too. The, uh, the first the first the first scene when they when, when they were Not, talking yeah. and he put him up against the put him up against the gate. Yeah. No, no. no, no well, he, he, he was, was a light. He was a he was a he's a bigger light. He was a bigger guy. light skinned guy. When when remember when all uh, three of the people oh in, Denver, in the jail in the jail. Yeah. Yeah, he was cool. He did a he did a good job. Now when he he could have he could have went there like you said. He did go there. Where? Oh, when, he when, ain't never when, shed a tear. All, yes, he did. Even when what you call it died. He was he just like, he was just tear. like. Okay, rewrite. He didn't he shed did no that. tear. Yes, he, he did. Right, exactly. He got, he he got, got, yes, he did. You know how yes, I know? He was right there. I see it. Yeah, but it didn't drop, though. He was right there. It don't have to always drop. But at least Michael B. Jordan gave me some drops. He gave him a drop, yeah. But it was like right, it was like right in there. It was like That's all I'm saying. I was like, yeah, he did a good job. Yeah, he did. He was like, yeah, he did. 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 He <laughs> Why do people go out <laughs> on social media and post negative comments under your post? Why oh, do you do that? Because people are assholes. Just no, why do you do that? I don't do that. You don't do that? No, for sure. No. No. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Why do you do that, Adrian? I don't do negative <laughs> comments. You know, if I see something that I do not like, I keep scrolling. Why do you do that? I don't put negative comments. I put commentary as in like if I tell them I disagree and I'll explain why in an educated way. But just to be trolling them, no, I don't do that. Why do you do that? Because I'm part of the <laughs> I'm part of the culture. <laughs> I'm going on, I'm get the post, I'm like, did everybody else read them? Good, because I'm going to read them too. But nobody else read them. I'll keep it cool, but most of the time I'll just follow the lead. He got a keyboard gangsters. I am a keyboard warrior. Yeah, I a That's keyboard like warrior. Why? Am. But why? So, <laughs> so, so my question to the world and to the panel is: <laughs> Why do you find it necessary to blurt out any negativity regarding a post that's on someone else's page? What post is this? Is what uh, post of yours was this? Cause that's why you say yeah, something. Is this the one about the phone grace? Well, somebody, somebody uh, posted under my uh, Tyler Perry repost of the wig switch. <laughs> <laughs> somebody came after me and was like, <laughs> "I just really want to get off." At least, and I, I, he asked, so I, it, it was, was that a repost or was that a repost? It was a repost. Oh, I, I, I didn't post that. That wasn't me laughing in the background. <laughs> and I found, <laughs> it, I found it hilarious <laughs> because her, her wig was flat. It was sleeping in the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> so the shit was funny, goddamn it. Was and no, so that's it, the reason why I was like that. It was this person that followed me, and I didn't follow them. It was a private, a private thing with like five posts or whatever. One of them profiles uh -huh. got under my comments and was like, "Well, at least, you, at least he's where you're trying to be. You're not even, even really a director. You're trying Ooh. to be a director, and you're trying to da 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 all this extra shit." And so because I'm trying to, I'm aspiring to be something on that level. I can't critique somebody that is actually on that level. What the fuck kind of like what kind of mindset is that? And so because they it. are, I did. With the questions, block like the block block. and all that. Because <laughs> right. what I will I'm tell you, what I will tell you <laughs> is what you're I not gonna do. Like I don't have to sit there and receive that just because you feel that way. You feel that way. That's great. That's cool, but what I didn't do, I didn't go on Tyler Perry's page and go under a fall from grace 
and ransacked that fucking movie. I reposted something that was I reposted something that was hilarious because it was hilarious. Man, they were, they were big man, boy. It was. Oh, and that's the thing, it's like that's 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 a level of ignorance I never understand. Like you could you could you could be a, like I said, you could be a stand for somebody, but that doesn't mean that you have to stand that. for every single thing that they do. People do that. But on the they flip do. side, why do why go to someone's page and just drop a negative comment? Because they can too. Right. And they, right. And it's they it's can. public access, they but, can too. But what why would we do that though? That's the question. Why do to we tear do that? people down? Do you like tearing people down? I don't like it, but if, you it, do, you just said you if, if it kills two birds and one stone, then whatever. Because I'm getting my voice out there, and if it hurts your feelings, oh well. I am a keyboard Ooh, warrior. I probably wouldn't be like to your face terrible. like, yeah, you're wrong. Ooh, that, but, is, yeah. that is terrible. I, I speak for majority of the people. Ain't nobody else gonna admit it, but I will. No, you don't speak for you. Yeah, you don't speak for you. But we're in a different generation. We're in a different generation. We're in a different generation. We don't we don't we don't act like that. He's 35. I'm 35. He's 33. He's 33. 21 years ago he was. He's 33. He's a different generation. No, he's 33. He's not a different generation. Like, I just went on TMZ post that Lizzo picture again today. I don't even do that. I'll talk like that. I don't even do that. I'm looking like a rolling turkey. Again, that's the third day they did it. And I roasted them. I was like, why do we have to see Lizzo every fucking day? Like, Why are you saying she's like a rolling turkey? She did. She's a strong turkey. I'm sorry. A strong turkey. a strong turkey? I'm going to need you to stop fat shaming her. Right, please. I'm not fat shaming her. You are. You are. That's not fair. She shouldn't be looking like that. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Whoa! What's wrong with that? Whoa! She shouldn't be. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I said what I said. And what she said was some bullshit. Right, right. Right. I'm sorry. So pause real quick. So pause real quick. So pause real quick. So we segue from leaving negative comments on the people's posts. So we, over this side, all in agreement that that's not something that should happen. But it does happen because people have the ability to do that. Freedom of speech, all of that is great. Yeah. But it doesn't feel good when it's done to you. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And so now we've segued from that all the way to Lizzo looks like a thick tur what you strong turkey. What's wrong? A strong turkey. Strong Not fair. turkey. And why are it's we saying fair. this about Lizzo? Because she's throwing in our face. Like, literally, TMZ, I follow TMZ, unfortunately, on Twitter, on both of my Twitters. So, um, but they posted the same picture of her. <laughs> they posted the same picture of her just rolled over on the, just looking like a pile of trash. So wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. That's not fucking wait, body. How is that wait, what I'm saying? I don't, wait, I, wait. We don't need to see that at all times. We don't like need to see Cardi do it. We don't need to see Ryan right. do it. We don't need to see Kim do it. I'm in we'll agreement. I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement that. with that though. Know, I'm saying. in agreement that it's, it, it's, you shouldn't have to feel like you need to be half naked all and time, take all these pictures and put it out on the media. Do. Rather you, do. Do. you're right. Do. And I'm saying that I don't like it whether you're on the skinny spectrum or oh, the no, bigger no, spectrum. No, spectrum. No, so I'm, just, so I'm in agreement too, with like, that. But at the same time, Okay, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Because she got implants out of Cardi. Like I would, I would, I would find, I would nitpick. But the fact that she got, she can be standing for so much more. But she's settling. You and so you didn't even say she's it. I was about to say it, but she didn't oh, say. No. It. I was trying not to say it. They're not gonna get me. <laughs> What you about to go there? He's about to go there. I was gonna go there. But, you was but like literally, TZ posted that same picture. So Devin, you say you don't like bigger people. Uh, they're, not, they're very nice. I'm sure they have great credit. But uh, <laughs> ooh, it's not my thing. Like, ooh, it's not. She's just. You canceled. They're just throwing it in your face. You I'm sorry. Canceled. I'm sorry. You I canceled. have a specific type. <laughs> And I stand for a queen that has a nice body. So like for me to just, I don't want to look at Lizzo every day. None of us on this panel is perfect. No, none. Thank you. None of our bodies no, are perfect. I never said no, you. we should not ever. I never thank you. That. No, that's just so wrong. I, I, so many I can't even look at you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stick to my word. Like, I'm, I'm, now, one of us is perfect. I'm looking at all the comments. So, so, so Club is spelled C L U B B, it stands for Bold and Blood. So, he's being bold and blood about his opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for me, like, um, her music's nice. But what I will <laughs> say, what I will say to add <laughs> on to that, <laughs> you said the flu. I will say, what I will say to that. <laughs> Oh my god, he's a 
out that out there that are of a thicker <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> 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 Do you and rock you. This do you and rock you. Every, but, but, but we can't but we can't act like everybody doesn't have a preference. Because there are a lot of people that don't prefer me. Just like if you don't prefer me, there's I could not prefer you either. So that's that's nah, fuck yeah, I'm that's out there nah. but at the same time. I want a t-shirt to say that. Fuck you. I think my mom used to walk around the house butt naked. My mom shaped like this though. She just don't play the flute. But my mom, she shaked like this. She used to walk around titty sagging and everything. And I'm like, Mom, why you got to do that? She's just happy for her body. That's fine and all. But I don't want to see that. You look like a, you like a upside down. I said, Kono, I do not want to see that. So that's just me. Can we change? Uh, Are we done? I think we're done. I think we're done. That's the first time. Yeah, that was, that was a full episode. So uh, thank you for tuning in <laughs> um, to Culture Club. I'm OK. Um, yeah. Yeah. Be sure to go to AconnectionTV.com okay. and, and watch more um, on Culture Club. Leave your comments below and follow everybody's social media on Culture Club. Love y'all. Stay blessed. Y'all not about to think about not subscribing to aconnectiontv.com. Copyrighted.